Hi everyone, uh, today I just want to do a bit more of a chill video. We're not going to be having any alien talk in this video because I've had enough for a little while. <laughs> Those videos were fun, but I'm ready to play with some more of the makeup that I already own. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I want to do one more last fall look before we get into the Christmas and winter season because I don't know, I just feel like it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'll just start off by priming my eyes and then I'll kind of tell you which palettes that I want to work with today after. So I think what I want to work with today is I have a few and I want to try to do a green and orangey look, but I don't want it to look like a Christmas look. So that is going to be the challenge with this because it's really hard to make a green look that doesn't look Christmassy. So I want to pull out my Hasina 2 palette again because I haven't played with this in forever and I want to use probably these three greens here. We'll see when I get started. I also want to kind of pull in a little bit of orange and maybe some yellow. And for that, I think I will use my Carity All Matte palette. I have used this a few times, but this one has a really nice warm toned yellow as well as a nice orange. And I also brought out my Nubian 2 palette by Juvie's Place. Let's see, what did I want to use in here? I think I want to use this orangey shade here. And I also just pulled out one of my little ColourPop, let's see, Make Up My Mind, Make Up Your Mind palette. It looks like this. I haven't used this yet. And I have swatched it and it's absolutely beautiful and I really want to use this. I don't know if I want to use the gold shade. I feel like that might make it look a little too Christmassy, but I kind of want to use this and maybe this green as well. I'm not really sure. So uh, I think we should just maybe get into it. Maybe I'll even pull in a little bit of purple in my lower lash line or something like that. I don't even know. So I'm just going to kind of have some fun today, play with some makeup because I have had enough of doing very structured videos right now and I kind of just want to get back to having fun. So. So I'm going to first start off by taking Tweety from my Carry All Matte Palette and I'm going to tuck that into my inner corner of my crease. So about right here. So I did get quite a few new subscribers from my Decker Star videos and I wanted to just say hi to you all and I want you guys to tell me something down in the comments, maybe just say hello so I can see who you are because I do want my channel to be kind of interactive. I don't want you guys to just be lurkers, like I, I want you all to be part of my family and I want to know who you are, what your names are, what you're all about. So if you have not yet commented on one of my videos, I would love it if you did down below, just even just saying hi because I just want to say hi back to you and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I am very happy that you are all here. I also just want to say that the 10 looks 1 palette that I just did is not going to become a norm. It is not something that I'll be doing with every palette that I buy because that was, that was quite something, let me tell you. And if I'm completely honest, the only reason why I decided to do that with the Jeffree Star palette is because Jeffree Star does not send out PR, so I knew that I would have a chance to get up my video very quickly and actually get some views on it if I did that. So. Maybe that's like the wrong way to think of it, but I mean, I kind of have to think of it in terms of if I'm going to spend that much money on a palette as well as express shipping, I want to at least have a chance to gain something back from it. So that's why I decided to use that palette as my 10 looks one palette. And I'm not saying I won't be doing that in the future, but there are just so many brands right now who send out PR and obviously I'm not on any PR list. So it really sucks for us smaller creators who want to really put out reviews and stuff but we don't have a chance to get up our stuff first because we don't get sent PR so I actually do appreciate that Jeffree Star doesn't do that because it gives all of us a chance to you know spread the word and not just like the big channels and I think that's good. Alright so I'm next going to dip into my Hasina 2 palette and I'm going to use Mani which is this darkest of the greens and I'm going to put that in the outer corner just like a triangle out here. So I'm just going to pack this color on and this color is very dark and I really like this as an outer corner because it really, really darkens everything. And I think this shade is just beautiful. And so I'm just placing this kind of on my eyelid. I'm not pulling it too high up into my crease because I will be putting a brighter green on top here to blend this out. But I just find out when I do it in this order, there is way less of a chance of things getting patchy and stuff because if you go in with the darkest shade first, your shadows always have something to stick onto. And I swear this eye right here always gives me such a hard time compared to the other one. And I don't know why, I think maybe it's because this eye, my brow bone here is a lot lower down than it is on this eye. And it's not me complaining, it's just like a fact. And I feel like a lot of people have eyes that are different. And it's just something that we kind of have to learn to work around. So next I'm going to dip into Mahia. Mahia? Mahia? I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's this beautiful green shade up here. 
And if you don't have this palette already and you've been considering it, I really, really like it and I would definitely recommend it. I'm tapping off my brush here because I don't want too much product, so I'm just going to start by using my same ColourPop E9 brush. I know I've been using this a lot lately. And I'm just running this above where I put down the other shade. And I think I kind of want to go in with some orange in between here. I haven't quite decided yet, so I'm just going to keep that open for now and kind of just think about it while I place down this shadow. So I kind of think I have an idea with this look, and I do think I want to go in with the orange. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Vegas. Wow, that's appropriate since I live in Vegas. So I'm going to take Vegas, and I'm going to put that right in between where the yellow and the green is. And I'm going to try to be careful when I blend together the orange and the green because they do have a tendency to want to muddy up. So I don't want to blend those into each other too much, but I'm not too worried about the orange and the yellow because obviously those are very easy to blend together. So I'm just going to gently make sure that I just tap over where these two colors meet. And this might be more of like a freaking rainbow or butterfly kind of look and not so much a fall inspired look, but we will see when we are done. Who knows what can happen. But hey, at least I'm using fall colors, you know? So as you can see already, as soon as I go over the green here, it's starting to make a bit of a brown in the transition, which I mean, that's expected because that's what these colors do when they mix, but you just have to be kind of careful with it. So I'm also running this orange a little bit over the yellow because I want to tone this down a little bit. I find it to be a little bit too yellow for my liking right now. And I want it to be more on the orange side. So actually I actually have a question for you guys, uh, especially the ones of you who did watch my 10 looks one palette. So that was my first ever time doing a voiceover and I was really happy with how that came out. But I want to ask you guys if you like me doing voiceovers because I feel like sometimes when people do voiceovers, it kind of takes away a little bit of the personality of the videos, you know what I mean? Because like sometimes you have to redo things over and over and over and over again and everything always comes out perfect and sometimes I don't want my videos to be perfect. So I'm going to leave a poll up here if you want me to continue doing voiceovers or if you want me to do my three looks one palettes the way that I always do them, just, you know, like this, just kind of talking it through. So I'm very curious to know what you guys think because I did really enjoy filming that video and I thought it was kind of fun, but I don't think it's something that I want to do all the time, but I do want to maybe occasionally do voiceovers again because honestly it's kind of nice to film and be able to listen to music at the same time and not have to always talk over everything that you do. Because as much as I want to do what I want to do on my channel, which I will obviously always continue to do because that's why I started my channel in the first place, I still, I still want you guys' input because you are the ones watching it and I feel like I'm here to entertain you. So yeah, just uh, if you have any opinions about anything that I just said, just leave that down, down in the comments and I would love to read it. Right, so I'm not sure how fall looking this is right now and not more of a circus kind of look, but we're just gonna roll with it. So I think I want to go in with some shimmers now. So I'm first going to start off by taking, well, did I want to use that ColourPop palette? Maybe I do want to use my ColourPop palette, let's see. Let me just swatch this. I feel like that could look really pretty. Wow, that's like a jewel tone, that's really nice. Alright, so I'm going into my Make Up Your Mind palette. I'm going to take this shade right here, I'm going to put that on a flat brush and I'm going to pop that on my outer corner of my eye. I'm just going to spray this real quick. And I'm going to put that right over where I put the screen, but not cover all of it. And I'm not doing a cut crease or anything like that today because when you go in with all shimmers on your lid, you really don't have to cut your crease unless, I mean, you want to, but you can make your look almost look like a cut crease by using shimmers because they are just so vibrant and opaque. And if you're precise with your application, it's sometimes not always necessary to do cut creases. And I feel like people do them way too often. So I feel like this is looking pretty even, even. So I feel like this is looking pretty even. I can't even talk today. So I feel like this is looking pretty even on both sides. I literally said that sentence three times. So I'm gonna dip into my Nubian 2 palette and I think I want to use that orange shade in here, which is called, wow, Nefertiti? What is that? Someone down below tell me what the hell Nefertiti is. But this is an orange shimmer, so that is what I'm going to use. 
and I'm going to place this. I'm not sure if I want to have room for like a yellow shimmer in my inner corner. So again, just going to leave that possibility open until I put down the shade. So like this look is quite something. This is not at all what I had planned when I started this. I mean, does any look ever turn out the way that I planned them? Not really. I mean, sometimes they do, but for the most part, I kind of just wing it and do whatever comes to my mind when I'm doing my makeup. So I think I like this. I need to kind of see the whole look put together before I make up my mind. And I'm not sure I like this orange with the green that I just put down, but hey, what can you do? This is one thing I find when I use several palettes in one look is that I get a little bit like overwhelmed and I want to use everything from every palette and sometimes it doesn't look as cohesive as I would like it to because obviously the color stories in the different palettes are, you know, modified to be into a palette for a reason so the tones don't always go together as much as I would like them to. But I'm going to put this on my other eye as well and then see what I want to do for my inner corner. So I definitely feel like I'm succeeding in not making this look like a Christmas look because this is not very Christmassy at all. But I am really excited to start doing Christmas content and that will be coming on December 1st. I don't know if I want to say it out loud that I'm going to post a video every day in December, but I mean that is the tentative plan. I just don't like to have that kind of pressure on myself and I don't know, it's just I don't do well under pressure. I'm, I'm one of those people who don't want to say that I'm going to do something, but there's a very good chance that I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I don't like having that on my shoulders that I know I have to post a video every day in December because like what if something happens, you know, like I am not the kind of person who does my homework ahead of time. So I don't pre-film a lot and stuff. I like to kind of film and edit the same day and then put it up the next. So. Just know that you'll be getting a lot of videos from me in December and that's really all I gotta say about that. I will try my best to put up a video every day, but if that doesn't happen, you know, oh well, I'm human. That's just the way my channel goes. So I do think I want to put something into my inner corner. I don't really know why. I kind of want to use this gold shade in the Make Up Your Mind palette because I have swatched this and I think I am going to pop this right in there. But I think I want to do my lower lash line first so that I can kind of wrap this around not sure what I want to do on my lower lash line though. Do I kind of want to just keep it the same? Such a tough choice. I think I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on my lid just to kind of keep it easy and simple for myself. So just a random thought, but when I was watching through my Tenlux One palette that I did, you know how sometimes you put color on your lower lash line and you feel like you bring the color down so much and that your lower lash line is like blown out, but then when you look back on the footage, it's like, wow, I barely put any shadow down there. And I'm like wanting to really start like actually blowing out my lower lash line, but for some reason I'm like scared to pull the shadow down more than this. So, I mean, this is not the kind of look that I want to do that with because I'm using different colors, but for like smoky eyes and stuff, like I really feel like I need to like really cover my whole freaking dark circle here and it would look really cool, but there's something in me that kind of like stops me from doing that because it just feels so wrong. So I'm gonna dip into the, man, I am just like so all over the place today. I'm gonna dip into the orange shade again and I'm gonna place that next to where I put on the green. And I'm actually probably just going to pull this all the way in because I will be going over parts of this with the gold afterward. Let's go in with that gold shade now. I'm gonna use this on my Morphe M149 brush. I'm gonna try this without spraying it because I have a feeling it's going to be really nice. Yeah, that is beautiful. I love that. Love, 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 love. And I'm also going to really pop this into my inner corner and wrap it around onto my lower lash line and meet it up with the orange. So I think this is it for the shadows. I am going to just gently blend a little bit right here. And I think I want to put something a little darker into my waterline. So I'm going to use my Delirious by Urban Decay. This is a purple. And this is the color that I wish my hair was right now because my hair is looking every kind of color you can imagine because I had blue before this. So if you were new to my channel, my hair used to be blue and then I put purple on top and this is where we're at. So I'm getting my hair done next week though and I'm really excited. 
Uh, let me know down below what you think my next hair color is going to be and I will let you know if you're right. I'm sure a lot of you can probably guess it with it being Christmas and such, hint hint. So really excited for that, which is why I'm trying to really strip my hair from color now. I actually was able to take a hot shower and wash my hair in hot water yesterday and it was amazing. And I used head and shoulders to really try to strip my color out and it definitely worked. So I'm probably gonna have to do that one more time before I go to the salon and get my hair done. So to finish up, I think I'm going to put on a little bit of Wayne Blanner, some mascara, and then I'll be back. We can figure out a lip color. Actually, I kind of feel like I match my scarf and that was not planned at all. So I'm going to put on some liner mascara, be right back. Alright, here is the eye look all done and for my lipstick, this is probably not going to come as a surprise because I've used this so many times in my fall inspired looks and this is Pumpkin Pie by Jeffree Star. It is just a beautiful burnt orange shade and I just... I just think this goes so well with like fall colors. Ugh, just look at that. So here is the look all completed. I really like how this came out. Uh, I don't know exactly how fall inspired it is, but I like it. I think it looks cool. So let me know down below uh, what kind of looks you want to see in December. If you want to see more winter looks, if you want to see more holiday kind of looks, if you want to see like party looks, let me know. I will also be using glitter every day in the month of December that I put, put up a video. So I hope you're excited for that because I know I am because I love me some good glitter. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.